Hello everyone. We are gathered here today to examine our fourth drum synth. This time, the 808 Club. We will start with every own's favourite sound, white noise. We are putting a high and low filter, sequentially. Then the important thing for the clap is a set of several volume envelopes that are triggered in quick succession. The noise and the filters are very simple. Remember the first of the two filters here is a high pass filter, so you will need to use the second outlet from the SVF object. To control this we will have one number box for the high pass cut off. Then instead of controlling the second filter directly, we add a fixed amount to the first value that we will call the width. This is the separation between the high and the low filters. You will need the little trigger object so that it changes when either number box is adjusted. Okie dokie. Now let's get to the more interesting part, the volume envelopes. Create a single, exponential envelope as we have done in other tutorials. Put it in a sub patch. In fact, I'm going to make this envelope even steeper by squaring the output again. Now create four of these in parallel. The triggering of the envelopes is staggered with our delay objects. Cascade the triggers down to the different envelopes. The delay time is one of the things we want to control here. The other thing is the decade on which we are going to make a multiple of the delay time, 5 for example. Notice that we are controlling the final envelope decay time separately so that we can change how long the final tail of the sound is. This will give us the potential to vary the sound between the tight clap and a smoother washy sound.
pack all of that into a sub patch. Then make a single sub patch for the entire clap sound and tidy things up a bit. Great! To round things off, I am once again going to make some presets and set up a 2 d mi mi my mentional slider to be able to impolate intralapam into polonate and triple ace insemilate into minate fucking interpolate between the different settings. I will fast forward this bit though, as you have probably already seen me do this thricely in the other drum tutorials. Let's try it all out. Lovely, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Obviously, you will probably want to try putting the different drums into a single patch or abstraction so that you can combine them. You might also want to make a single patch of storage so that you can easily recall in between settings for all the drums. 